Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This video, I'm making a filter box. I recently installed a split unit uh, air conditioner. I went with Rob's son, R-O-V-S-U-N. If you're interested, I'll put the uh, link in the description. But I don't want to spend no money on this. I've already spent enough on that. So I went with, I've got plywood left over from the bench we made for my kitchen. I put a description or the card in one of the corners for that video if you're interested in it. And I've got poplar from the shutters I just made. I also do the same thing for them. Um, so I, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be functional. And that's what I'm really mostly interested in. I don't want to end up because these filters on these, uh, these split units are just horrible filters, little you know, thin thing. I don't see how they filter anything really. They're just like little mesh. But what I'm doing, I'm putting these filters in it. I actually, I bought these at Walmart. They're uh, 20 by 20 by one. They are like, I think for a two pack, they're 20 bucks. They're, they're not bad at all. Plus tax, I think everything's like 21, $22, whatever. There is something I noticed on these though. So be mindful, if you go do this project, if you go get you a split unit and you're making a filter box and you're going to put filters in it, buy your filters before you make the box. Because they say 20 by 20, yeah, they say 20 by 20 and when actuality they measure like 19 and 5 eighths. So that, there's, there's, booger. I guess it's like lumber. It says one inch and it's three quarter, but just be mindful of that buy your filters before you make the box. Um, I'm going to use glue and pocket screws for this project. Maybe some brad nails. I, I, I don't care. Like I want it to look good. I want it to be tight, but I don't really care. I'm not going to paint it. I'm not going to stain it. I just, I want it up and so we can get, I don't want to use that unit until I get this on here so I can protect the unit. I've heard of people having that basically destroy that unit and have to give them a brand new one because they didn't do something like this. So that's something, you know, that, that's to uh, consider something to be proud or something to check on. So I've got the manual. So that's, I'm going to pull the measurements off that. I'm also going to double check them. But first I need to get the poplar working so I can glue it up for we can plane it, cut it to the right size and everything. The plywood, all we got to do is cut it. I mean, it's, it's plywood. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm recycling. I've got actually quite a bit of plywood left, a lot of cutoffs. So I'm going to use them up. Uh, yeah, y'all stick around and uh, maybe we'll get this on in a couple of days. Hopefully it's late in the day now, so who knows. Y'all stick around. All right, I saved y'all from the middle of the process, at least part of it. So I went through and I decided I've got four pieces of, of poplar. It's going to be the back because my piece of plywood wasn't wide enough. So it's going to be the bottom. And then I'm, I've got poplar for the, both sides and the top. Now the inside pieces, uh, they're just like a little frame to help keep the the filters from sucking all the way in. I mean, just keep them in place. Uh, I'm gonna, I plan on using plywood for that, I believe. I may use poplar. I don't know yet. I haven't just really decided. But I'm gonna glue these. I'm gonna glue this in, in, in two sections. Uh, because my planner's not big enough to do it all in one. So I'm gonna do it in two different sections glue it up and then we're going to i've got to glue what's going to be both sides and the top like i said the plywood's going to be the bottom so won't have to glue that but we are going to go ahead considering this is going to take a while to dry i'm going to plan on going ahead and uh cutting the hole out for the bottom i use my jigsaw for that at least plan on using my jigsaw for that i might change my mind I don't know if y'all have a mind like mine, but it changes a lot. Oops. And all this is, if you ever 
due to this is I'm making a panel. That's that's it. That's really it. Just, and I didn't even run them through the joiner real great. You can still see some rough cuts right there, but just run through the joiner, you know, joint one edge, glue them. As long as your planer will fit. I mean, doing these and this will be two different glue ups because they won't fit through my planer. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, once it's done, run through the planer and you've got a panel. So, I mean, it really, that's it. It's uh, very simple. As long as your clamps are good and tight, <clears throat> everything will be good for you. So, very simple process. Kind of a pain to do sometimes, really. Especially in your hurry, having to wait for glue to dry. But that's part of it. That's part of woodworking. So, I have before resulted to pocket screws for this process. I don't like doing it. I done it early on and I learned real quick that quite literally I'm not going to do that. Now something I recommend for this in any panel you do, tabletop, anything, is come longer. These are gonna be I haven't really decided to finish. Uh I think forty inches is what I decided on for a final measurement. I may go a little longer than that, I don't know. Well, I'd figure that up with the, the difference of the uh, filters. But anyways, it's cut them long. Cut them long, that way you ain't gotta worry about make sure they're perfectly straight while you're gluing up and clamping. You can, when you're done, they're clamped, they're done, they're playing, they're ready to, you know, to finalize or, you know, be finished with. You can cut them square then, just cut them a little long. It won't hurt. And when that process is done, you'll be happy you did instead of trying to fight with it and, you know, fussing and stressing over, oh, I gotta get this straight. No, you don't. Get them on there, glue them up. I do like to try to, you know, get them close, but they ain't gotta be dead on. What do? They ain't gotta be dead on, so. Cut them all and be done with it. Be happy. Be happy. Don't worry about it. Cut them all. So... Yeah, we're not done. Still making, I'm getting ahead of myself here. But I'm gonna go up the rest of these and then we're gonna grab that plywood and cut it. After measuring my splint unit, I realized that it was not square as the sides had a taper to them. So the front was a little shorter than the back. So I went with the jigsaw to try to cut it. I initially was just planning on doing it the bandsaw, but I figured the length of it, I might have an issue uh, holding it up. So I went with the jigsaw to cut that. The top and sides I could go through after cutting the length with the miter saw. I went through and cut the width on the table saw. So they were pretty quick work. Once everything was cut to size, I decided to use my pocket hole jig to 
uses the hardware for this project as I don't care if it looks good or not. I just want it to be functional, but at the same time, if I can hide the screws, I'm going to do that too. So I use my pocket hole jig and inch and a quarter screws for this project. And of course I put glue everywhere I can. That way thinking it might help uh, seal up the cracks. I also thought about going through with some caulk and just every edge or every, yeah, every edge, every corner where two pieces of wood come together, thinking about putting caulk there. And I may end up doing that sometime in the future. I just, I haven't yet. And I, I think it'd be okay, but extra safety precaution as I want to save this unit as much as I can.
these backstop pieces for the filters. I didn't go all the way from one side to the other side with these foot, with these uh, pieces because, well, these were already cut to size and instead of having to go through, which I could use that plywood for something else, instead of having to cut that down, these will still hold and they do a really good job. I had to notch one side of the back of the uh, box to get up above my split unit, but once that happened, it went in exactly where I wanted it and how I wanted it very easily. And that's how I made my filter box. Now there's a few things I learned in doing this process. And the first thing, I wish I would have read it, I didn't. I bought these filters before I made the box, which is a good idea. I, I highly recommend doing that. But it says, if you look on, on the filter, not on the pack, on the actual filter itself, it'll say 20 by 20 by one. So whatever size your, your filter you're getting, it will say it right there. But your actual size, it tells it right there. So I actually made my box, my opening, a little smaller than what I needed. So I'm probably gonna go back and make like some little tabs to turn to help keep these held in. As you see, you know, I I had to bend them a little bit to get them in there, and they're wanting to they're wanting to move some. But get something, make make little tabs 
just to be able to turn and keep them in there. That's a, that's an idea. Also, here's another idea, and I learned this from a retired HVAC guy. He said put tape right through here to help seal it up. Sides, everything's open, help seal it up. I do have this going right now. I'll put it on 72. Well, I've already run it, and know everything works, so I want to put it on the the temperature that I want it to run. I won't say unit of measure, but that don't that, that, that ignore that. But I done that. If I had to do over the this I got is 3M. It's actually uh, it's like a like an aluminum type texture. It's actually for HVAC ductwork. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would probably done zip tape. But this was a whole lot cheaper. Zip tape is just more stretchable and more. You know, you you can get it around. And it's actually bigger, so you make sure you're getting all them crevices, everything. But this is what I had. This is what I used. So. I think that's about it. I'm not gonna paint it or anything because it has a job to do and as long as it does that job, I don't care what it looks like. It's for me, it's kind of a rush type deal. I've got customers waiting on me and I, I wanted to get this done before I done their project. So, uh, with with that in mind, you know, y'all stick around because we're gonna have more videos. I got a, a picture frame I gotta make. It's actually for my wife, so it's one of them deals that has to get done first because well, if you're married, you understand that. And then I've got, you know, a few customers. You know, I got a new one come in the other day, so, or yesterday. So, you know, there's going to be more videos. There's going to be more uh, more projects. Hopefully, I can clean this shop sometimes. It looks like a pigsty. But here's this. If y'all y'all enjoyed this video, y'all want to, you know, give me a like, subscribe. Any kind of way I could have done it different, better if you've done it. Hey drop your advice down you know i read them i hope i'm sure somebody else reads them i hope so that way we can learn together and uh y'all have a good one god bless